In this lecture, we're going to discuss sulfonic acid, which is uh, this. Uh, it has this particular group. It has sulfur, which it has, uh, which has, which is bonded to oxygen, and the two oxygens it's forming double bonds with both of the oxygen atoms. And there's a hydroxy group bonded on one side, and this over here is the rest of the molecule. And I'm going to compare that with carboxylic acid, which is uh, you're going to have carbon. It would ha be having a double bond with oxygen and there would be a hydro hydroxy group on one side, OH group on one side, and this is the rest of the molecule. So I'm assuming that this R with the rest of the molecule is the same in both cases. So I'm just, I'm just going to compare the functional group of a sulfonic acid with the functional group of a carboxylic acid when the rest of the molecule in both cases is, exa is exactly the same. Remember, this rest of the molecule is going to have an effect on this functional group in both cases if it it uh, if this r is cl or if this r is ch3 then in both cases this would affect this sulfonic acid group so i have these two acids i'm going to compare the strength of these two acids now since it's an acid and acids uh, what do acids do they produce h plus one ion so deprotonation means that acids uh, are going to produce or lose h plus ions and these H plus 1 ions are basically protons so this is deprotonation so for sulfonic acid you have this OH group over here so let's underline this OH group this OH group dissociates and uh, it ends up producing an H plus 1 ions and those and it uh, it produces an oxygen with a negative charge which, which is going to have these lone pairs as well so this anion is produced and this H plus 1 ion is produced when a sulfonic uh, acid molecule ionizes. Similarly, in the case of carboxylic acid, again you have this OH group, let's underline that OH group. Again that OH group ionizes and when it ionizes it produces an anion with oxygen having a negative charge and the hydrogen that was over here, it loses that hydrogen and an H plus ion is produced. So in both cases you're getting an anion in both cases. Now, which one is a stronger acid? Remember, both of these reactions are reversible. It could very easily happen that this H plus 1 gets attracted to this oxygen minus 1 and it would end up forming sulfonic acid back again. So, they, both of these reactions are reversible. Now, we're going to analyze both of these anions. You have this anion over here and you have this carboxylate ion anion over here. Now, which anion is more stable? Now, as you would notice that... Uh, sulfonic acid the sulfur is bonded to two oxygen uh, atoms it is forming a double bond with both of the oxygen atoms and oxygen is very electronegative so this oxygen is going to try and pull electrons towards itself similarly this oxygen would also try and pull electrons towards itself so both of these oxygens will have a slight negative charge and the bond would be slightly polar with carbon having let me rub uh, this thing off so the sulfur over here is going to have a slight positive charge. This slight positive charge is going to attract the oxygen electrons, the negative charge that has been built up on this oxygen atom over here and it's going to attract this, uh, this negative charge towards itself. So in a way what's happening is that because of the two oxygen atoms over here which are pulling electrons, the electrons which were concentrated in this region, they got... Uh, uh, attracted by the sulfur and they would get spread out over the entire molecule so the charge density of this this charge density over here on this oxygen atom that would decrease and as this charge density decreases so the attraction for H plus 1 ion would be lesser. So the chances of a reverse reaction occurring would become lesser. Because all that negative charge which was concentrated over this entire region, it got spread out over the entire molecule. And when it did that, the negative charge uh, strength decreased. Its charge density decreased. And when it decreases, it's no longer going to attract this H plus 1. So, so less backward reaction would occur, which would mean that more dissociation would occur in this particular case there would be more forward reaction and less backward reaction so more dissociation 
in this particular case. So sulfonic acid is comparatively a stronger acid. And let's look at uh, carboxylic acid, why ca carboxylic acid is a weaker acid. So let's rub this off. And as you can see, applying exactly the same logic, you're going to see that there's only one oxygen which would be pulling electrons towards itself. So oxygen would have a slight negative charge and carbon would have a slight positive charge. And this slight positive carbon would then attract the electrons from this oxygen so the negative charge which was concentrated on this oxygen would get spread out it would travel towards this oxygen but there's only one oxygen in this case compared to sulfonic acid where two oxygens were pulling the negative charge so the negative charge would still be comparatively would have a higher charge density compared to sulfonic acid so the negative charge would have a higher charge density and it's still very concentrated. There's only one oxygen which is pulling these electrons, so the negative charge is still pretty much concentrated over here compared to sulfonic acid. This negative charge would have a stronger concentration. This negative charge density would be, le uh, this negative charge density would be, uh, sorry, slight, uh, lesser compared to the negative charge density over here. This negative charge density would be higher. It's going to attract the H plus one strongly, so more backward reaction there would be more chance of a backward reaction occurring in carboxylic acid so there would be more chance of a backward reaction happening and hence there would be less forward reaction comparatively less dissociation compared to sulfonic acid so this here is the reason why sulfonic acids are comparatively stronger acids compared to carboxylic acids mainly because of the two oxygens present over here whereas in carboxylic acid group there's only just one oxygen present